friends welcome to internet networks my name is Edgar C. Francis in this video we will see how to spoof the IP address and how to prevent the spoofed IP packet from entering in network and we will also see what is Unica's reverse path forwarding okay so first we are going to configure the IP addressing which I already configured in our lab after that we are going to configure um, EIGRP between this uh, router 1 and router 2 Okay. After that, we are going to the different network. As you see, the the attacker is in a different network, which is 192.168.1.10, uh, and our victim PC is in 10.1.1.10. Both are in the different network. Okay. First, we are going to ping. Uh, simply send the ICMP ICMP packet over here okay just to verify that the ping uh, the connectivity is uh, proper or not after that we are going to change the source ip address okay the source ip address which is 192.168.1.10 we are going to change this source ip address to 100.100.100 okay we will change this source ip address to this IP address okay after that we are going to send uh, continuously ICMP packet to this PC normally the router the, does not care about the source IP address it's only look the destination um, destination IP address uh, path in our routing table and then forward it into the correct interface in for example if uh, over here if a uh, if a PC want to connect, uh, want to communicate with this uh, PC which is in a different network, router 1 will only look for the path, uh, the destination IP address, okay. Destination IP address, okay, uh, in the routing table and then forward it to the correct Inter interface okay over here so okay let me clear this after countering this uh, attack the cpu will overload and this pc will continuously reply um, this pc will get the request from the source hundred dot hundred hundred dot hundred dot dot this IP address actually this is a fake IP address is a spoof IP address and PC will get the request okay and the PC one will also reply to this request continuously so this is going to we are going to configure this attack and after that configuring this attack we are going to we will see how to prevent this attack to prevent this attack we are going to configure uh, unicast reverse path forwarding and we will have, we will configure over here on the serial 4 slash 0 and you will see the uh, the reverse path forwarding we have two mode the one is a strict mode and another with it loose mode okay first we are going to configure the eigrp over here You will see. Okay, let's start configuration. Um, before starting this layer, I want to tell you that this video is for the study purpose only. Do not try on the device which you don't own. Okay. So if you want to know more in detail about the Unicast forwarding and about this lab, so, so there's a link in the description so you can visit it out over here. And I have wrote everything about this uh, this topic okay so here I already configured the IP addressing so let me verify do show IP in paste and read you'll we'll see the path net and the serial force less zero 
okay on router 2 do show IP interface please the pass is 10.1.1 and the serial interface which is 1.1.2 okay let's verify on our attacker machine I'm using Kali You will see the IP address, the source IP address, which is the 192.168.1.10, the net mask, and the broadcast IP address. Okay. So now we are going to configure EIGRP between router 1 and router 2. We have two networks, which are 1.0.0. Another one is 192.168.1.0 and not summary okay another router router 2 we are going to configure router EIGRP 100 the network 1.0.0.0 and the network 10.0.0.0 summary neighborship is good it's up okay looks good let me check the routing table. So do show IP show IP route EIGRP. You will see the route is in the routing table router 2. Let's try to ping from this attacker machine to the PC1. Okay. IP address of the victim machine is 10.1.1.10. Okay. So just pick 10.1.1.10. You will see the reply is coming from the PC1. Looks good. Okay. Okay. As of now, we have successfully configured then this network. Now we are going to attack the PC1. We are going to send the PC, uh, ICMP packet with a spoof IP address and for this uh, lab we are going to use the 10 uh, 100 dot 100 dot 100 dot 100 ip address okay so before starting this uh, attack we are going to configure the y shark just to capture the traffic what is actually going it will take some time okay now it's start I'll skip this version now once again we are going to simply ping from the tracking machine just to make sure okay we are going to ping we are going to send some packets okay this is enough okay let's check the wire shark so okay you see the case capturing the source ip address you can see the source ip address which is 192.168.1.10 and PC, uh, PC1 is also replying with uh, 10.1.1.10 the destination IP address is 192.168.1.10 okay means uh, the attacker is requesting for to PC1 and PC1 is replying to attacker okay looks good now so now we are going to configure this stack okay so let me clear this So let's ping one a. Thus we are going to use the hundred dot hundred dot hundred dot hundred. You can use any IP address. We are going to spoof the one eighty two one sixty eight one dot ten IP address to hundred dot hundred dot hundred dot hundred. Okay, and the destination or target IP machine IP address is ten dot one dot one dot. And we are using the protocol ICMP. So ICMP, ICMP. Okay, so now we are ready to attack. Just hit enter. Okay. Now let's see the Y shark, what it's capturing. Open the Y shark, you will see over here. Okay, you see the, the continuously 
our attacker sending the ICMP packet over here it's consuming CPU and uh, bandwidth also okay so now we are going to prevent this attack and we will also see again we are going to try this attack and let's see the PC1 is dropping the pack a PC uh, router 2 is dropping packet or not okay let's stop this at attack the control C okay okay so we are going to configure the unicast reverse path forwarding check over here and in the reverse path forwarding we have two modes a strict mode and the loose mode it's very easy okay if you want to know more in detail um, as I said earlier there's a link in the description so you can check it out I have wrote everything about this uh, unicast path forwarding okay so let's configure the unicast path forwarding on router 2 and we are going to apply this uh, on serial force less zero over here over here okay so on router 2 yeah let me do this we are going to apply on the serial force less zero okay so interface uh, serial force less zero um, the command is IP verify unicast source reachable uh, here you will see the two modes okay any any is a is a loose mode and RX is a is a double checking one which is the strict mode okay so we are going to apply the strict mode over here so RX okay We are also apply it it's uh, enabled by default but let me ip set actually actually it's uh, it's enabled by default but so now we are going to send again uh, some packets from the attacking attacking machine the spoofed packet okay so let's go again we are going to attack okay then some packets let's see the wireshark is capturing or not no there's no packet no packet over here this mean router 2 is dropping the fake spoofed source ip icmp packet okay let's check on router 2 what is happening let me check show okay show um, IP interface serial four slash zero include drops let's see you will see the 44 verifications drop means 44 ICMP fake spoof packet has been dropped okay let's check one more command enable this serial interface is enable um, this unicast path forwarding has been enabled on this serial four slash zero okay let's see in the wire sharks no capture it's me um, the rpf has uh, prevent this attack okay let's see let's stop the attack over here and simply just simply ping the um, ping the pc1 let's see ping 10.1.1.1 with uh, the genuine source ip address the genuine source ip address is if config the genuine source ip address of this machine is 192.168.1.100 let's ping ping 10.1.1.10 over here okay let's ping you will see Okay, you will see the reply is coming from the PC1 and let's see on the Wireshark is capturing. You will see the genuine IP address has been passed because it's in the routing table. Okay, you, sorry, show IP route. You will see the 192.168.1.1 subnet 192.168.1.0 is in the routing table. 
that's the reason router 2 the RPF pass this ICMP packet so I hope you like this video if you like please uh, give a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching this video see you next time